Well, how y'all doing today? Uh, I'm doing pretty good, you know, just, uh... It's it's a fine day down here in just West kinda, Virginia. Just kind of living my days, you know, one day after another. Yeah, it's 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 fine down here in the holler. It is it is pretty sweet just being existing part of the universe. Just you wish know. I had both my arms. It'd be nice to have more than just the one. <laughs> you know, it would be nice. We Maybe saw a some movie, money. People, that's right. <clears throat> uh. Summer's pretty much over, but you know they still keep putting movies out. Hey, it's so, technically still summer, but yes, yeah, something's guess, got to go it? out. So uh, they're putting <laughs> movies out, and this seemed like the best choice. Everything that is like this, the only out of the ones we haven't seen that look we at had all pretty watchable. Much seen the rest of everything that and was still playing. And they're all gone anyway. Well, uh, no, half of them were still playing. I was uh, looking through it, and I was going, I, "We've seen all of these." Yeah, uh, but the Hitman's Bodyguard is the. The, the other, other one. one, yeah, <clears throat> which looks like it'd be fun to watch on Netflix in a year yeah. when it comes out. Like, oh, that'd be fun. Like, oh, yeah. Sam Jackson and Robert Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, uh, but, but we saw Logan Lucky. Yeah, which only saw one trailer for it. I I want to say it was before Dunkirk. After we watched the movie, yeah. I re or when we started watching the movie, you I was like, oh it. yeah, we did see that one trailer, but it didn't really. It was it very cool. Vague. It yeah, looked, yeah, it looked similar. Cool. We saw it on the same trailer set as that uh dark comedy from george clooney yeah um, which with, i think was before dunkirk but i yeah, could be wrong but with, with matt damon <clears throat> yeah that one looks good too uh sub suburb suburba not suburb suburbicon suburbicon yeah it's um uh, oh well uh and, and we're all locked up no <clears throat> i think just the mouse pad there we go I accidentally turned it off uh yeah so logan lucky uh, directed by the man who brought us all of the uh, Oceans movies. I have not seen Magic Mike. Nor have I. Um, I want to see what other... He's done a bunch of... Uh, he did that one movie with um, ex-MMA female fighter Gina Carano. Oh, what? Which was super boring. Uh, I don't think I ever finished it. It's got Channing Tatum in it, too. Yeah, he did Traffic. Traffic's amazing. Probably one of his best movies. The one with Gina Carano of. was... It's like Scroll fight down. or something like that. No, right? it's not. It's a uh, haywire. That's right. I remember starting to watch it, but then never finishing it. Yeah, traffic. Aaron Brockovich was good too. The Limey. I remember watching it. It's not. It's one of those like uh, UK independent a films. Aaron Brockovich kinda. was good enough. I liked it. I liked Aaron. Yeah, Brockovich. I liked it when the I was real a kid. Aaron Brockovich watched her movie at my theater yeah you, i, I remember at. you telling me that i never saw her but i don't believe i've watched <laughs> traffic all the way through traffic's awesome traffic's one of those it's just it's like one of those epic drug movies yeah you know it, where it takes it from different Which like you're seeing the because cops because i really side. like drug movies yeah and it's one of the better ones too but the one the trailer they, we saw maybe for, because they show it from the cop <laughs> side i usually like the criminal side in most of my drug movies they show it from all sides yeah uh, I have to. That's a part of my list. It's of really shame good. Then. Yeah, oh, I have to fit that in. Um, Solaris, I haven't seen. Full Frontal, I heard that's I not seen. very good. I don't. <clears throat> haven't heard of Full Frontal. Bubble it sounds like a prequel to Magic Mike. Maybe Bubble's a crazy. That's super independent. Um, movie. The Informant wasn't that another Matt Damon? Uh, yeah, yep. Yeah. I was did like not a, see kind that. of another overweight co comedic. Yeah, it was. It wasn't that great. I watched it. It was. I don't really remember much of it, but I just remember it being like, it it r rode the line between comedy and like kind of drama. I feel like that. I, I feel like it, but that, I feel like that's a similar story to the not story wise, but like character wise to maybe what he's going to be playing in the George Clooney. I mean, one, he maybe? looks overweight in it, and tonally it seems similar, but I don't like think another story -wise. mustache like. Uh, yeah, he's over he looks piece. very similar uh, yeah aesthetically it looks similar but I don't think movie wise because that the George Clooney one looks like a straight up dark comedy this one from my memory of it was more like more of like a drama kind of a thing a, with comedic a, moments oh, nah, I, yeah. so it's, it, I, it from my memory I could be completely wrong but that's kind of like a lot of his movies maybe not dramas but he, they do have a lot of like light moments like yeah. all the Oceans movies I mean, I really don't like the last two. The first one's all right. Um, but I don't even know if I've seen the third one. I had to. I had The to. third one, I think that's with... Uh, Hua. 
I think. Yeah. And the I've second one is where yeah, Julie the third Roberts one, is like, Julie uh, Roberts as Julie Roberts. Yeah, I've seen that one for sure. And the stupid. third one's the one where uh, Alex Garcia gets like in o- with the crew to get over on Hua. Right? Yeah, yeah, because he's they're battling with like. Um, ratings yeah. like he wants the five michelin star rating or some bullshit 10 like, diamond yeah it was it was something like that better than the second one but the second one was really yeah. not good all right well um, <clears throat> but yeah but so it's like yeah, contagion was okay he does like a lot of just okay stuff like he definitely has kind of a style kind after, of like a, after finding out it was him yeah. at the end of the movie because yeah. like i came into this movie even forgetting the trailer but knowing i wanted to see it yeah but it it is a it is an oceans esque. It's I can tell it's a Soderbergh it's, movie. It's definitely like all of the things in this movie, yeah. which we will talk about. And like overall, both enjoyed the movie. Yeah, I I, um, walked, well, I had some I I had problems there, with it. We, it wasn't. We'll the, get to that. But we but before we, ranking inside the list of movies that we, we watched when we sat down to, to yeah we got there right when the the preview started. So that was nice. Like we yes. didn't have to watch the commercials, and the, it was like pretty much we sat down for the last commercial, and then, and then it was like let's yeah, go with the previews. Right yeah. Cool. There was an old co- a, a, a couple in their sixties set in the very far corner, but they were three rows behind and like four seats over. Yeah, we're probably like three quarters of the way up stadium seating. Yeah, where we where we were sitting, and they were in the back row. No, I don't think there was anybody between us. No, no one. Um, but yeah, but they we were, were in the, the back, middle, and they were in the back corner, far corner, far corner. There's only one way into this theater, and they are the farthest from, from that, that way. They're far, yeah. far corner. Um, yeah, and through the trailers, which we finally one of the movies we talked about in the uh, preview, uh, fall preview, yeah, section, um, mother, mother, playing, and I could hear the exclamation, exclamation. Why yeah. can't I ever say that word? Uh, say I mean, it. there's probably say lo- it exclamation. Damn it. Listen, I can't think of names or say a lot of foreign. Like, I can't read foreign names. Very, It's very difficult. That word for me but, has always been that one yeah. word that I'm like, God. I'm sure there's words that I can't say. Point. I mean, there's got to there. be. It's just I avoid them. I just, a lot of the times, I remember growing up, like, I would just restructure sentences based on on not being able to spell knowing i can't spell a fu- and i can't and it was at a time where you had to get kind of close before Be- spell check even knew what the fuck before, and i would try like four different ways of spelling some before like restaurant or some shit be- came up with like uh auto check and everything and that's gotten way better yeah, but i'm saying before that happened i don't know how many times i would write a text out and oh, then yeah. i would have to change I, i'd look at it at the end and i'd delete it all and just have to change the entire way it was structured yeah. to not include that word even if it was a, a vital word yeah <laughs> it's like i can't and for anybody wondering what this has to do with the movie that's kind of similar intelligence to a lot of these people but back assuming to, back to this old couple yeah oh yeah the old couple so th- they're back in the corner and throughout the trailers yeah. They're they're yak and and after every trailer, uh, can't wait to go see that one. Like and, yeah, and that's how it sounded yeah. in my ear. Like I could hear I could hear them through the trailers. I could hear I can hear them kind of through the movie. Like, and I'm two seats nice closer the to yeah. them than you are. Yeah yeah yeah. Because um, we always have the the buffer seat in the middle for popcorn or whatnot. Yeah yeah. yeah. Um, and it seems weird to have an open space and just be like, hey, what's up? <laughs> yeah, it's like I. I don't mind distance. We're not talking through the movie, unlike <laughs> some assholes. It's weird because it's like we've probably gotten every kind of person making noise or being an asshole. Because, like, uh, Get Out, there was a, an annoying person. That, two. To, yeah, this one, two annoying people. And then, uh, I don't, is it War? I had there the was fucking, one for you. Somebody was kicking my fucking yeah, seat. I, I think did. it was War. Yeah. It's like, uh, it's War for the Planet of the Apes. Which yeah. is we've shortened it to war. What is it good for? A great movie, huh. um, but it like it a super now. intense movie where you're like just I'm in it, and it's just like the back of my chair just keeps getting fucked. That kid's it's like, like, what you know about 4D? Bro? I don't think it was a what kid. You, what you know about 4D? I don't even know if it was a kid. <laughs> I think it was. I don't know. It was. It was annoying as fuck. Um, but yeah, the, which like it's there's definitely difference. Like sometimes sound annoyances. Like if we were watching, uh, uh baby driver probably would never have heard it because the movie's loud all the time 
But when we have a movie like this, if someone's which candy takes wrapper time, the whole time, yeah. that bothers me. But I'm ex- I but it accept depends that on the movie though. Too. I accept that because like a Michael Bay movie, there's not a lot of quiet moments. No, it's going to be like you Explosion, know music, boom, explosions, wow. yeah. So like Baby Driver, if people could have been talking throughout the whole movie, probably wouldn't have noticed. But in this movie, it's kind of slow. It definitely takes its time, and in those moments. You could hear, but they're peppered funny yeah. shit in it, and every time that he would say yeah. something funny, the old guy would repeat the punchline, yeah, and then start talking, yeah. And so I, all right, I I flash some looks back about a half hour, probably, in. Uh, and then I'd say yeah. about an hour because it took a while. I would say because this movie was long. How was long a, is this movie? Almost this two hours. Movie's, Oh wow! It I thought it felt was. It felt like two and a two half, and a half yeah. hours. This movie needs to, better pacing. It, but uh, oh my god, that surprised the fuck out so of me. me, me I, was too, I already looked at, at that. At least two ten. So at I. least two ten. But it felt like two and a half hours. So it is. Just on that note, the movie it was paced a little slow. Could have been uh, yeah, a little bit tighter. A ninety minute movie probably that would have been, been perfect. perfect. Spot uh, on. But yeah, so and there was a lot of like there was a lot of a silence. Waste. This, this movie took like every time this movie would like it would start slowing down, slowing down. Then something would happen, and yeah. be like, okay, I'm still in it. Like it almost lost me so many times, so many. T- it wasn't like just a moment where it really slowed down. The movie it was, was like, literally my escape from the people talking. <sighs> yeah. So yeah. for me, I w- I was totally invested, yeah. and then was getting uh, more and more upset the more they talked. So about yeah, hour yeah. in, I turn around. And I gave the the shush. I, I gave a loud shush. Yeah. Uh, shush ignored. Yeah. Shush. Well, they so, were old too. So they were like maybe they have bad hearing, I which would this. also make sense. Why? And he's I'm not in their line shit. of sight necessarily. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So the second. Did time, you know they were old? Yeah, I did. Okay. I saw the look back. Although I guess I could hear early. them, so yeah. they sounded like old people. So about 20 minutes later. Dude was probably went to Dave and Buster's and got wasted before. He just fucking like talking, yeah, loud, yeah, like in a voice, in like the voice I'm talking in right now. He's talking to his wife in a theater, and like I literally stood up from my seat, walked two steps over, waved my arms, and said, "Would you please shut up? Shut up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shh, shut up, shut up. Yeah, it's like." I need to do, f- like, I don't know if your perception is based on movement, like yeah. fucking dinosaur. Uh, T-Rex. Uh, like, uh, hey. You. Shut the fuck up. In, in a, by the way, probably like maybe 15, 20 people in the theater in total. Yes. In, like a decent, it was definitely a smaller theater. But it's like, one of their smaller ones. It was ones, a but sparsely it's, sat What, a 200 seat theater at least? Most of the people in front, I mean, you weren't like loud when you were telling them as far as to, because they may not have heard it. But yeah. they probably some of them. I'm did. sure other people heard yeah, yeah. me telling them. Because there to were shut people. Up, but like, I don't give we a fuck. We were in the sweet spot. Yeah. But it's like, yeah, they thought they were. I mean, they're just like fucking privileged old white couple the, going to a matinee. And the wife, but the wife did look acknowledge me that time. She's like, sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they still talked a little bit they more. Definitely they definitely shut got, the fuck up they, after that yes, for, the got, for the most and part. For the most part. And I noticed once they shut the fuck up that there were scenes like when they were back in the prison. Mm-hmm. And we'll get to the movie. Spoilers. This isn't a spoiler. But just the sound design for yeah. like when they were like kind of towards the end where the uh, Batman kind of shows up. Yeah. Um, there was a lot of just like ambient talking sounds. Which almost was like, if there were people behind me to the right, which I knew there wasn't, there would was. have been like, no, but there was, it was the sound, it was the, it was the surround sound oh, of no, the movie. Yeah, I definitely yeah. heard that a few times. But, but that was like, it was like just that in a, like a, in a movie. Like, yeah. why would you, because if you're in the theater, it sounds like what we were literally experiencing. But I, but like, I've it's literally, part of the movie like sound. I shushed the, the girls and like get out. Yeah. But I've never literally had to stand up. I don't like confrontation that much, but yeah. I felt confrontational were, this week. If they were younger, they probably like would have shut the fuck up earlier. Yeah, but they're old people who don't they don't give a fuck about people. Well, clearly they're in a theater, and they think like, "Oh, I'm in the back row." Like when we were kids in the 1950s. Remember yeah. this? Remember we got milkshakes. I put some rum in it. Plus, now I'm an asshole. They're both more hard of hearing, obviously. But yeah, but also fucking just i guarantee 
they are not nice to people. No. Like if they have Mexican they don't gardeners, tip. they don't. Yeah, <laughs> they order from Uber Eats all the time and don't tip. I literally went to the same mansion twice. Was the first address I've ever gone to twice, and no tip both times. But but uh, anyway, uh, so so fast forward after the movie because we'll get to that. Yeah, uh, we're this getting is out the of experience, there. Experience overall yeah, viewing this is experience. The, uh, I t- we both take a piss. Yeah, and then we get to the escalator. Well, they had snaked out over to the elevator. Well, they went to the elevator. Yeah, that yeah, dude was limping like shit. He was like a taller, overweight old dude who clearly has a bad hip. But uh, so they get He's down like, there, like and we're riding hobbling. the escalator down. Yeah. And the whole time I'm going, I hope they walk slow, because I'm going to say something. Mm-hmm. I didn't say anything to you about it, but mm-hmm. when I went out there, I... And they were pretty I'm far usually away. Not they were a fan of confrontation not either, or whatever. But, but I had had enough, and and they were old people, so you. it's like I'm not. I'm like not if worried they were, about <laughs> if they were like teenagers. I would not have confronted teenagers <laughs> yeah, like, like this. Yeah, teenagers mo would fucking hit me with a bat or yeah. something and put it on YouTube. I don't need that shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I it's had like to tell way more cardio. I man. had to tell an old person like. You should hey. know better. Well, so like, I yelled out. I said, "Hey, you shouldn't. You know, you shouldn't talk through an entire movie, right?" Yeah. And they both stopped and turned around. They and did something I never I didn't, expected. I did not they think would do. this. I thought uh, and it was going to go. That happened when the dude yeah. came back, and then when the chick, yeah. the, his wife, um, came back. Both times I was like, because even his reaction, I was like, "Oh well, she's clearly going to be what I think is going to yes. happen." And didn't happen. They both were like the most apologetic. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. We learned our lesson. Yeah. Well, like, that's like we're teenagers to them. I get it. But, totally. Like, but still, what are they going to do? Why, why, but again, why would you run to their luxury SUV? But again, we're not scary looking people. No, but to them, like when we're however fucking old, like 60s, 70s, I don't know how well we're they our took version care of, of how we wouldn't yeah. confront teenagers like, now. Oh, what I'm going to fuck with like yeah. these guys in their 30s. It's like, no. Like, I have a bad hip. <laughs> I had to take the elevator down because the stairs fucked me up because I thought going to the corner was going to be enough. But I forget that these youngsters have good ears and can't hear the fact that I normally, uh, this is how I am in front of the TV but where I'm I w- just like I jabbing even, my wife. I wasn't even super rude when I called them out. No, you're just calling them out. I like, just call, hey, by hey, the way. By the way, don't. As two old people that are like, you know, clearly retired, doing okay. You know better. Like, you were being rude. Yeah. You want to talk about representing the older generation? Like, disgraceful. Go fuck yourself. It was Go fuck yourself. But, yeah, it was so surprising that, like, he turned around. He's like, oh, I'm so, so sorry. I was like, that's the best way this situation should handle. And then the wife comes out from, like, around the corner, like, just as soon as her mouth opened, I'm like, oh, she's here gonna it comes. Just, she's going to be the bitch and he's going to have to. And it's like, nope. She was super like, please don't. Please. Like, we're sorry. We didn't. We learned. It. We, we learned, learned our lesson. Our lesson. Yeah, our, yeah. She goes, I learned a lesson today. Yeah. And, and I was like, and my, I left it. And I even kind of apologized. I'm like, sorry to Once have they to did call the you reaction, out. My, I was just like, I don't even. I'm just going to look kind of down. I'm not like, I don't need. I don't need to be a part of no, any of this. I, I was, no, but if it that, was like if it was confrontational, <laughs> then I'm making eye contact. Yeah, and like you know, nothing's gonna happen. But it's like just my body language is like, all right, cool. This is gonna be just nice. They know they're scared. Like clearly they're scared. <laughs> clearly they're scared. Um, for whatever reason, imagine if we were black oh, or Jesus brown. Christ, we just had a tan of oh. some sort. Uh, <laughs> or we were carrying. I mean. I was just going to say we were carrying tiki torches, but that would be like probably like, oh, hey, buddy, hey, buddy, <laughs> thanks, for, thanks for buying all those tiki torches for uh, the march, guys. So that, that was our general so, movie watching experience. Yeah. Now, let's get to wasn't super like it was definitely annoying, but I knew it was more annoying for you because you were like way closer to it. But uh, it didn't affect me as much. However, the pacing of this movie affected me. Definitely could have been a 90 minute movie. Um because I don't. Because it goes like it. It's one of those movies that it seems like it's coming to an end, and we're not close to the end yet. Yeah, I kept There's thinking, I'm like, oh, this is over. It only really like, happened once. Yeah. Where, which is fine, because that's where they. It it made it a better movie. It did. I just don't think the transition, for whatever reason, felt like it felt like they were coming to an end. 
So whatever they were doing where it ramped up to that point. I, it kind of fell apart but was wrapped up at the end. Because it's a heist movie. Yeah. And like, you know, spoilers, which we're going to... Spoilers. I mean, yeah. it's a minor spoiler. We're definitely going to get more spoilers. But like, like once the heist is over, usually in a movie, it's kind of just done. Yeah. Like it's kind of like the climax of the movie is the heist. And then, like, everything kind of falls apart and, and then ends you, pretty and then quick. You, well, then you kind of like, wrap it up, like... Really quick. This yeah, one it's like, took hey, its time. he got some money. And yeah. he, and so then, the climax of the movie kind of peaks a little bit too early, but the wrap up the end of the movie makes up for slow it. Slow build. Yeah. Super slow. Oh, my God. Spikes. I to, was worried how slow it was because I was, like, almost losing it. I was like, I wonder... And especially the people, like, I was like, I wouldn't have been surprised if you walked out. Just because, like, I don't know, pacing-wise, um, it was super slow for me. So I was like, they need to start getting to something. I, I was a little more invested then, in it than, yeah. than you, I think. Just because because you were, Because I yeah. was trying to tone them out yeah. so much, like, and I was getting angry. Yeah. And, and in my mind, I'm like, you're ruining something that I like. Yeah. But I didn't even know how and much I, was I liked like, it at that point. I was like, <laughs> I don't really you're like this like, I don't know yet. if I like this yet. I don't. It's kind of... Because, like, everybody's accent is kind of jarring. Because, I mean, it's very much like but a Coen Brothers movie. But that's what West Virginia is. I like know, but it's like, it, it said it in the car on the way home, but it felt like a very much Coen. Because yeah. they do, like, like Fargo, is, like, you know. Yeah. Or even Raising Arizona. Like, he thick accents is, like, they really go for the authentic. And this was like that, but the light beer version, almost. I thought Like, was- I didn't like it as much as Coen. Like, I think Coen Brothers pull it off better. And maybe it's just because the actors they got, it. I don't know what it is, but it just it didn't feel as authentic as a Coen Brother movie does. Yeah. For whatever reason, I don't know why. Um, but I still liked it. Didn't it didn't hurt the yeah. film for, for at all? But it, it was something I noticed, and I got used to it. Well, and I also want to give uh, props to well Daniel Craig is also in this movie. We haven't even talked about who's in this movie. It's Channing Tatum, Adam Driver play kind uh, of a weird. They play movie. brothers, kind in, of an under yeah. the radar movie. Yeah, they play brothers, and their sister. Well, I don't know her name right offhand. Um, can, uh, but she's yeah. the fourth one. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Uh, Riley, is that it? No, that's the kid. Jesus, how are they? No, Riley. Hugo or Katie Holmes? No. no. It's Riley. All it, oh, right. I got, uh, uh, say her now, last name. I'm Riley Yonjacek. K E O U G. I literally just said I'm bad with K- fucking weird spelling. Kyo- last names. Kyo- I don't. I won't be able to remember. Her name's Nor- Riley. Riley. She's very cute. Kyo. I'm going to go with Kyo. That, that's Kyo. Great. Right. Kyo. 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 It's like uh, small fireballs instead of the big Hadoukens. Adam Driver uh, has one arm. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Which uh, it plays funny in this. Like it, that's it's a nice. Part of it's a it's its own character kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Channing. It's it's based mostly around Channing Tatum though. He's the main character. Yeah. Uh, and then it's a heist movie. And he's like, he just got fired from a job. Well, he got fired he's from working. his job. He's he's divorced from his uh, first wife, and yeah. she's remarried. And then she told him that she's gonna loved, move out of state. Loved all the casting in it. Yeah. Um. Like every everybody that was in, like as far as problems with the movie, actually, well, two horrible casting. First off, I just two. completely forgot yeah. about those. Horrible, horrible. Like worse. Like. Like actively jarringly, bad. actively bad. jarringly out it's of place. It's not like uh, what's her face in uh, the uh, fucking Doctor Strange. Oh, Total Swinton. Yeah, like that was bad casting, but she was still fine in it. Yeah, these like actively bad. Just one way worse than the other. Just cornball bad in a movie that's not like oh, that character should have been in Talladega Nights. Yes, not and this was not. This, this is, is more like Raising Arizona feel. Yes, in a way. Very Cohen Brothers. Yes, so very. Much, I mean, or Soderbergh. Soderbergh has this similar style. It was Soderbergh doing a Cohen Brother movie in I, a way. Yes, it still had Soderbergh. Like, he's. I mean, he makes. He, he, like aesthetically, I like the way he, all of his movies slowly paced. Haywire, slow. That's why I couldn't. I was yeah. like, this is for an action movie. There's like nothing here. This is not good. It's like watching. Watching a horror movie and there's nothing scary for the first hour. Yeah. Um, 
but yeah, so it's. I remember how I got. Well, it's, the, well, it's it's mostly yeah. like I said. It's mostly about Channing Tatum. Yes, he yes. he. Uh, it starts off with him and his daughter. Uh, like I said, the he, him and his wife. Uh, she has another husband. They're gonna move out of state. Yeah, uh, and he's like, he just fuck lost that. his job. He's like, fuck that. I'm gonna get a lawyer. She's like, with what money? And then, uh, then the one of the first parts that kind of sucked came it, very early in the movie. Yeah, and, and they it, go uh, to the duct tape. They go to the duct tape, which Enjoy. is the bar where uh, Adam Driver's brother is the bartender, the one arm bartender. Yeah, and uh, he's in there having a drink, and then. They're they're having some banter. It's it's fun, and then they're kind of arguing. It's and very like even the banter though. I mean, and it's probably just the type the I don't, I've never been to. It's very stiff. Where I don't know where are they from West Virginia. West Virginia. Never been any any of those places. Yeah, but I would imagine slow, just speaking slow, going slow versus not that I've grown up in cities. Country or anything, life but, is a yeah, different exactly. thing. Yeah, so it's the, and I'm sure it was authentic. And the way the, the, the down banter, into West Virginia, that's yeah, yeah. like uh, that's the Appalachian. Yeah, yeah. And so they're even slower. Slower, so. not only like verbally, but mentally, and it's in some ways. No, oh, it's just a stereotype, anyway. Yeah, but their their family also which ends had, up being had a, a reputation twist. for being dumb, unlucky too, and unlucky. the curse, which. I but guess also is where dumb. the name comes. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of the name of this movie. L- no, Logan, Logan Lucky. Lucky. No. no, sounds like a superhero went to a casino in one bed. Yeah, uh, but yeah. So then, uh, Seth MacFarlane plays an Australian guy in like, heavy, like a mustache, and like you can't tell it's him. First off, I thought it was British, like just an annoying British dude. Australia. I didn't get it was Austra- supposed to be Australian. It was just I think. horrible. It wasn't good. Like his. Whatever character he was doing was Again, horrible. He should have been in Talladega Nights. But still, the character itself was in the wrong movie. Like it's wrong movie. Like the like even even if it was a toned down, better acting, you know, yeah. completely different character. Like th- that person in the mix of the story has really nothing to do with anything. With anything shows up Doesn't later for no real anything. reason. No, and all those extra scenes with him in it at yeah. the end—that's part of that fucking last 30 that we can yank out of this fucking movie but not even like like just you can cut so much like that just already we're a half hour into the movie all of that character cut like that's a whole that's a whole fucking half hour you know find another reason to fucking torch a car yeah. you know whatever something happens you know the brothers take care of each other i mean that's what that scene was showing just it's like a bar oh, fight they're fucking oh so he goes just a immediately random, a random bar fight yeah, yeah. but suffice. it's like exactly it's like cut that character out and now every time that character's in the movie which is three times which would have cut out a driver that didn't need to be in didn't this need movie. to be in it you got but nothing you got about i didn't 20 minutes i didn't even right know there. about anything about the, oh who my was God. racing in that race the race shouldn't have been involved in that, like you could show just cars know, going just around. know that there's a race. But yeah, it had th- nothing to do. Both of those characters, nothing. W- horrible. But that, but the third character, like I didn't care about the driver. He wasn't actively bad. It just was a useless character versus just, yeah. this British guy who, at the first interaction, I think is like a rock star. Yeah, he's like I'm famous. Who who owns Monster Energy Drink? I don't, I don't know, know, but that's who he is. <laughs> That's all we know. We actually know about the guy is that this race car driver is being sponsored by this energy drink yeah. that comes in a wine in a champagne bottle. Well, no, he or had he some made special, him special made, but it's whatever. He's he's a monster energy drink, but he's famous. And that wreck like a rock had star. nothing to. Do. It was just there was a nothing, yeah. nothing, yeah. nothing. But the other character that annoyed the fuck out of me, which she doesn't show up till after the first end of the movie, yeah. is uh, Man Face, Hillary Swank, the next Karate Kid. Um. Yeah, the million dollar baby. Uh, she is. Bad she man. was doing. <laughs> I don't know why. She I wanted, don't know why. She wanted to be authoritative. It just. It, that's it was what, I overly, guarantee sure. that in her head yeah. she wanted to be like sure. I'm an authoritative as, woman in the FBI. As somebody maybe that's made really good movies in the past, maybe. Listen to what how your actors are doing a Does role. Does she have two Oscars? And maybe I don't know. I mean, she she's she can be a really good actress. I think she won one for Boys Don't Cry. Yeah, and then 
She, she may have Did been. Did she win one for Million Dollar she Baby? She may have. She may have. She was definitely nominated. I mean, the movie got Best Picture. All right. I don't and know. Maybe she, she didn't get it. But then. she could have definitely easily. I mean, it's one of those kinds of movies and one of those kinds of roles. I never watched Boys Don't Cry, and I guarantee I've never watched Million Dollar Baby. All I've the way watched through. Million Dollar Baby. Um, that's when I first started hating uh, uh, Clint Eastwood. I was like, oh, his movies are not good. Like, they look good, but they're not good. And you know, the, I've still uh, never, and I've never seen Gran them. Torino. I haven't either, because that was after. And it's like, oh, he made a racist movie. Cool. I don't need to watch that. <laughs> like, I don't. I'm not into race watching people be racist. Yeah, we like, already. That's we like, already have a problem with that right now. Again, yeah, anyway. Yeah, so that's. Like, I mean, I don't. I really don't want to relive any more of that. Yeah, I guess if people were woke back then, they would have seen it coming so, earlier. So yeah, uh, uh, well, Channing Tatum's uh, character was. Uh, like a Did you ever mine see, worker. Uh, Magic Mike? Is that no. called Magic Mike? No. Yeah. Okay. But he was a mine worker, and he was working under like uh, they were patching sinkholes. Charlottesville Motor Speedway. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, they were patching up sinkholes, and then he gets this idea because he needs well, he gets money. Fired. Yeah, he gets fired. We already said that. Yeah. And then like she's threatening to leave with the kid. Yeah. And he's like, I'm gonna get a lawyer. She's like, With what money? Well, it's all like that's. All it took like an hour. Felt it like. took like it an hour. It probably took a half hour, but it felt like an hour for them to set up. Like I, I was like, "What is this movie doing again?" Because I, I didn't, didn't know, know it was a heist movie. Yeah, I didn't know. We both were pretty much aside from the one trailer, which was pretty which vague. We both kind of even we weren't like, "Oh, I remember everything." No, but about it, and that. it was it was it wasn't a trailer that like it just kind of showed you the tone and the people in it. And didn't really give away anything. Like I don't, and and we only saw it once versus like, you know, uh, Daddy's Home Two, which we've seen eighteen times, twice in twice one in screening, <laughs> let alone every time we go see a movie. But uh, so we we both went in pretty, and I was like, where? Because it took so long. I was like, okay, they're setting stuff up, which is fine. Just taking their sweet time to do it, and then there's this shitty character that comes in, and then it's like, okay. This is it's a heist movie. Cool. I thought the model that he built was a little over the top. Wasn't horrible. Little like uh oh. <laughs> yeah, that was uh <laughs> which I was out of like I mean the fucking uh Monster Energy CEO was by far the worst part of this movie. By far. It, horrible. Terrible. Horrible. We both agreed. Like you didn't even know it was Seth MacFarlane. No, and I was like, no, I didn't even know he's Australian. <laughs> I was like, that's how horrible. I, but I, I, first I was off, like, the only thing that fucked with me is like Seth MacFarlane. I and am, you're like, who? And I'm like, that Australian dude. Yeah. And you're like, what? And I'm like, because you know, I was the, like, the I thought he was British. British. I was like, who's the? Oh, and yeah. you're like, oh yeah. yeah, I fucking. And I'm like, that's horrible. Seth MacFarlane. Oh, I'm not a big MacFarlane fan to begin with I love family guy no i mean i don't mind family guy it's just not a show that i ever I got into like, like if i'm gonna watch an animated show i'm watching south park yeah it's a good show i like them both uh, but i like a lot of animated shows. yeah family guy is a comedy of references it's and nothing's going yeah uh, no i get it that's why people love batman versus superman they got all the references no i got I all those get references all, i get references and i didn't like it yeah but <laughs> like i it's like i all the episodes of Family Guy are basically the same shit. Like, I, I'm not really seeing anything new. They're no, all the same I, jokes. Yeah, there's, there's way there's better, but all I, like, the same I jokes really liked it. For it's not a horrible, good though. Point, yeah. point in time. But I'm not a huge Seth MacFarlane. Like, uh, Ted, like Ted. Ted was fun. Um, but usually, not a fan. He's like. You know what? I didn't really mind uh, A Thousand Ways to Die in the West. Uh, I don't know if I watched all of that. But I'm just not a fan. Like when he, like he was more of an actor in that. But he still has like his natural well, it's voice. Just his voice is sounds, Peter Griffin. Yeah, but well, I mean, he, or it's, no, it's Brian the dog. Yeah. Sorry, Brian the dog is his natural. But his voice. natural voice is cartoon. It is. He's so got it's a like, very. It's like, it's like I don't like it. I like it when I he don't hosts like stuff it. too. I'm. F he's fine if he's hosting, I guess, because he's hosting. Yeah. But if he's trying to act. He's a cartoon character. It seems like a. It's not good because and he's, you've seen it in cartoon form. Though. No, it's but as I've there's the dude that plays like Kronk, the big dude that's he's Patrick actually Warburton. Acted. Awesome. Yeah, not a problem. He doesn't sound like a cartoon character. That he like Seth MacFarlane is like a he he's like he was like injected with Disney serum as a child, and he has like 
of flamboyancy, not necessarily. It's Disney as fuck. Yeah. Like, if Disney had the perfect enthusiasm for their employees, it would be Seth MacFarlane. And I don't like that kind of enthusiasm. Like, that's just, in general, yeah. if people in act general, Disney, I don't have a problem I with don't them, like it. But in this movie, horrible. fucking terrible. Horrible. It was terrible. the worst. It was terrible. the worst. Which, credit to the movie, d- like, probably one of the worst characters I've seen in a movie. But, really? like, in the last two years. Yeah. I've seen horrible movies. But there was no, like, character that I hated so much in, like, even Batman versus Superman. Like, it was just overall a horrible movie. This was like an exceptionally horrible. Oh, this is like a fun character. movie with the uh, just a turd <sighs> sprinkled in. And like, it's like it's it's an unnecessary character. Like it's like we so said, it could have been all cut it's out. Like, it had it's nothing like to do with anything. the most worthless character in a movie that just got smudged with a highlighter. It's like this needs to stand out so much. Like out of kind of everything because of the way they speak and the acting, everything's kind of dull and slow and flat. And he's like, and it's not even good. It's not. It's so bad. I like um, how if anyone's listening to this, we start yeah. out with going, "We really like this movie," but we still, we like, I still do. As far as even really though it's liked, slow, it's, I like, I liked it. I like it. It had definitely problems. It's definitely too slow. Some characters I didn't like. Fast. I In enjoyed the, this off, uh, so much more than Atomic Blonde. Um, they're probably very close to me, for me, because they pacing wise, they're very similar. This one wasn't like just useless when it was slow. They had some useless characters in this. Like it's kind of a trade-off. Like everything that was slow in between the action moments in Atomic Blonde were horseshit. Yeah. There's some major characters and parts of like the driver, like just completely useless yeah. parts of the movie. I liked movie. the heist. The whole heist. I did part too. That's was... why it's like a tight ninety minute movie. No, it would have been great. Would have been amazing. Would have uh, been. It would have been. It would have put it up in like a high point. There was in my so list, much wasted you know. dialogue of just like uh, Channing Tatum and his ex-wife, like just being like at the house so, in the in the transfer the of the kids. I didn't mind all that. No, I didn't mind it. But I'm saying it, they could have tightened that up. No, they could have. They, they, they could have cut out. They, they had just or, absolutely useless. If they just cut out fucking. Seth MacFarlane. And Hillary Swank at the end. Sh- leave that her. D- just like, hey, give her a note. Maybe talk normal. Yeah. Don't do this Batman shit. Talk normal. That's, as a director, you, you're seeing how people are performing. It's your fucking movie. You're not like some new guy that's like, oh, I can't approach Hillary Swank. She's a star. She's fucking Hillary Swank. And you're fucking, you know, the well, guy that directed also- everything. Like she was Hillary Swank, she is now still currently Hillary but yeah, Swank. It's like, but you're a director. Yeah, <laughs> fucking make the movie. He exactly. he was fine with that choice. I wasn't fine with that choice. I don't necessarily think she was bad. I just didn't like the voice she was doing. I it didn't. But the fucking I didn't British really guy. Notice it, but you cut I, out I thought the British it was the guy or the part. Australian like, guy. Even doing that. Oh, the FBI now. But it tied everything up in the end. Yeah, if but they you could you could have tied it up without that. All sure, those parts sure. with her going around. Yeah, I mean, you could have montaged inter- it which out. Which introduces yeah, yeah. her sure, sure, to sure. fucking Australian That's, that's Seth like such a minor fucking problem for me. Yeah. The fucking driver that we have, he has whole scenes where we see him talk about his philosophy of OS and fucking food being software. Yeah, that was dumb. Whole, it was, the, the analogy was bad, stupid. He wasn't a bad actor, but he it was d- just dumb. He didn't have to do didn't it. He was all to, voiceover was, and, and like, and just, he had to do It was yoga. a commercial. It was fucking... In the middle of a fucking... His philosophy was stupid. Comparing software to food and his body I'm being an, operating an OS. System. You're a piece of hardware, you fucking retard. You're not an idea. You're not code sitting... You're. It's stupid. The, it's just... We go, we follow this race car driver for no reason... Only so there's an interaction with that useless race car driver in and a tunnel. A useless fucking famous energy drink CEO that's you know that did, got a million followers on that. Instagram. Get rid of all that. You got a 90 minute movie, and we're not bored watching shit that has nothing to do with the story, and we just see the story and then the fucking interaction with the you know him and his ex is whatever. We need to see that. We need to see that they, there's some kind of relationship. They're still close. You know, the new husbands, like, every everybody seems pretty cool with everybody. Yeah. They just do, like, the subtle jabs and, like, talk shit. But it wasn't, like, it could have been, like, just a complete drama situation. 
So I didn't mind that. I just they, they could have cut out the fucking race car driver and the energy drink CEO, and you got to and Hillary Swank is the new worst part of the movie, and I'm totally fine with her voice being the worst part of this movie. But it's like, like Hillary for me, her voice, which I had a problem with it, problem right here. Yeah, that other shit is like through the fucking roof. Those are just like completely useless. I'm, I'm glad when I completely brought it up, useless. you you agreed too, because yeah. we got in the 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 car and I was like, because we because both, of that it can't be up because like, we had high a, on my we, list. we had a short talk about it, and yeah. then there was Which the kind of do, and then there was, every time kind of like we wait down the we, escalator, kind of like initial, just give an initial, and it's like what I thought. Usually it's like <clears> from you, I liked it. Fucking piece of shit. And, I was like, <laughs> and sometimes I agree <clears> with fucking piece of shit. And sometimes I'm like, well, <laughs> I think you're being kind of harsh on it, but yeah. And and then, but that also then we didn't con- you continue the conversation liked it because more than we had I the conf- confrontation, or yeah. I had the conversation. We with talked the on people. the way back yeah. too, and I then mean, we talked but, about yeah. it later. But yeah, it was a uh, that that's the usual. We we save the go to the bathroom, take a piss, no talk about the movie. No, I mean we're trying to. I try I'm trying to, to like process because it it's in like, my head too. At the end, and it's like I don't like having to repeat myself. Like we just have a conversation about. It. It's like oh, let's record and pretend to have that conversation again, and bring up different points now because I don't want to just mention the same points yeah. I did. But you know, I'm gonna make better points fresh. But I mean, we record it as close to if we record this tomorrow, that would be. I'll be like, and then that one part, you know. Yeah. Uh, um, but yeah, it's like it's it's such a good movie that there's like it, literally worthless characters. Daniel and parts. Craig might be my favorite comic relief in this movie, which for Daniel Craig seems like a weird kind of. I mean, uh, he's not really. There's a lot of comic relief moments throughout the movie, but he's not necessarily the cause of all of them. Like his his brothers. His brothers are also like everyone's kind of the comic arm. Relief. The arm becomes comic because of Daniel Craig, but you don't even know that until it cuts to him after the arm's gone. Yeah, and he's like, "Oh, I kind of fucked up there." But everybody's kind of a doofus. But why? Why is it always British actors can do an American accent so well of of any sort? It seems, but it it doesn't I mean, seem. There's definitely a lot that can. But it doesn't seem as yeah. accurate when an American actor does a British accent. There's only a few oh. that can really do it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. Well, I think media growing up, like, we, until recently, you have access to, like, a lot of British shows. Yeah. Growing up, we didn't have access to any fucking British anything. It was all American shit. Monty Python. Uh, okay. There's Benny a Hill. couple things. They were both on PBS. Sure. But, like, for the vast majority of content people grow up on, it's not fucking British I TV agree. shows. However, in other countries, get shipped all of our shit. Like, movies, like, culturally, movies. Yeah, we pretty run worldwide. That shit. So it's like they were exposed to it early on and probably like culturally are able to do it fuck around like i but agree then, like it probably and us like ego wise if you hear it a lot you know. it's way easier to mimic like i used yeah. to work with a lot of indians yeah and i i like my indian accent at one point was down how oh. no uh the dot not the i know i was just feather yeah. <laughs> But uh, the, yeah, that like when you're it's around, it's just funny a lot. to think of you talking like. But a then Native I, American. but then I also had a, a British friend uh, yeah. before I moved out here. Yeah. For a while, and like, yeah, you can pick shit up. Yeah, like I, when I went to Hawaii, you pick up pigeon. They speak completely different, and you know. Yeah. I mean, they use what their slang and just like I'm gonna go to the south. You, go to you fucking see, you West see Virginia. y'all after like a week and yeah. down south just because it's what everyone else says, and yeah. it just. It, you download it into your vernacular, and you're like, "That's how everyone Surfer else is speaking talk here." And the skateboarder, yeah, talk. It's like, but it, that's like, like even West Coast. You're not trying to be a poser, but it, you're trying to speak the yeah. language of the natives. Yeah. Um. So I don't think it's that surprising, but there's definitely. But I, mean, there's I, not, I like there's Daniel Craig in, too. This, in this movie. Like, shit, it's not even just UK people; yeah. it's Australians that come over and they do like yeah, Chris Helmsworth, uh, fucking Logan, uh, yeah, the original Logan. Uh, but not the lucky one, <laughs> the old decrepit Logan. Hugh Jackman. Well, he's dead. Let's just let's just call a dead person a dead person. Uh, but yeah, comic book characters don't die, bro. Uh, this is another reason. I to guarantee just enjoy he fucking... will be in another oh, movie know, as yeah. Logan. 
But he's not going <clears> to <throat> be like, it's not like Batman versus Superman where it's just like, hey, he's still alive. No. It's not like he's going to come out and he's like, you put the cross sideways. That's disrespectful yeah. to Jesus. Uh, yeah. So back to Lucky, Logan Lucky. God, it's not a good title. Um, but they plan a bank yeah, heist fucking under the fucking the, the speedway. And yeah. The heist it's is like, the best part. But out of heist movies, it's really not even that great. Like, even Ocean's Eleven was a more exciting heist than this. The best part but of this, this is Hillbilly the Heist. The best part of this heist was when it all gets tied up and you see from a different perspective what's going on. That makes the heist good. But if they didn't have that, compared to heist movies, not good at all. Not good at all. It wouldn't have been like up. It's a good know, movie, like, but it wouldn't have been good in a heist movie. I'd rather see. I just like heist. I had fun with this movie. It I, was fun. It was I, right. I, I, it was okay. I think I might be defending it too much at this point. No. Like, because we have picked it it's apart just a lot. Weird. It's weird that it's like it has huge problems. Like a, a, two characters like that have no necessary part in this story at all. One and then one actor who chooses like a weird voice. Which is whatever. But two characters don't need to be in this story at all. Which if this was in... Like the fact that the, everything around that dog shit was good. Like if this was a hot dog. And instead of a hot dog it was dog shit. Like the bun is so good in this movie. That like it, we know there's shit in it. But the bun's still good. You know? But as far as being the best bun I've ever had. Nah. No, but it's still good enough where I don't I give think, a shit about the shit. I think they missed you know? an opportunity for for more fun by glossing over the prison break the way they did. Because um, they kind of did. I liked that part. I know yeah. I liked it, but I'm saying, like, they really just, it was like, I gotta go to the bathroom, and I'm conveniently outside the door. It's like, another prisoner, yeah. I'll take him to the bathroom. Yeah, and yeah. she's like, okay. But I'm well, saying, but like, she wasn't worried about him doing. it. She just didn't want him but falling it, but down. Like, I don't know, like just skip and skip, well, and everything then they grabbed this, some things from the wood shop. Sure, that but they everything have, in this movie happens very conveniently. Everything happens very oh, conveniently. Very. Versus good heist movies, like oh, it was the planning. Like this one, the planning is a new character that's smoking a cigarette on purpose is part of. Like is part of like the planning versus a good heist movie is just like everything was shown to us, but we just couldn't put it together until they're showing us versus, oh, that character that shows up was an integral part of this plan out of nowhere towards the end of the movie to make everything work. Like it's very as far as heist movies, it's weird how this movie (laughs) For me, it's weird. As I'm talking about it, I you're like I hate like, this movie so much, I, but I, I like it a little bit. I don't bit. hate it. No. I just, I just wish it, it could have done like I could have done a lot. Could have done so things better, better, you know. And even the things like where it wasn't the cast. Horror, I know, I know. Besides those, I just wish it was in a better movie. I wish this was a Coen Brother movie. I'd rather see these people do because I think Coen Brothers With would pull this off script, and they would be like, "Hey, let's tone it down, uh, there, Batman." Like let's tell they probably get that characters like all everything would be tweaked in just the right way to where I wouldn't ha- they'd be like we can get rid of this make it a ninety minute quick like it'll definitely redeem us from the 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 shit movie we made God damn it Seth MacFarlane was but, uh, so bad in that movie or just yeah just no he's in the really wrong horrible. movie again he should have been Here's in Talladega Nights which would have fit sure. perfectly because it was NASCAR sure. affiliated but even still. I wouldn't have liked... It would have been the worst character in that movie. He just would have made more sense in that movie. I don't know. With but the, he wasn't good. Like, his accent... But I'm saying in the over-the-top comedy good. of, like, oh, where Sasha Baron Cohen good. is doing Sasha that Sasha Baron Cohen was a fucking brilliant but he artist. Was also, he was the Daniel she, Day-Lewis of comedy next to Seth MacFarlane in this movie. Seth MacFarlane... But I'm saying in Talladega Nights. It makes more sense for that character to be there. Yes. Still horrible. Like... He would probably fit better in like a uh, Austin Powers movie, like that kind of over the top. Where at least like Talladega Nights is still some kind of reality. It's not like hey, yeah, it's a Saturday still, Night Live there are character. Still sane people. He's a in fucking that. horrible Saturday Night Live character. 
is what he is. He's not Chris good. Kattan. It's not a good Saturday Night Live character. <laughs> He's Chris but Kattan it's a Saturday of, Night of all sorts. Oh, so bad. So I could see him in a fucking in a in a gold member reboot, whatever Austin Powers reboot that fits more than Talladega Nights. I, it would have made Talladega Nights bad. I just I'm not a big fan of the guy anyway. So maybe, and I didn't even know it was him. But now that I do, it's like, oh, yeah, yeah, fuck that guy more. Yeah, because he he hid, and I still didn't like. I didn't even know it was him, so it wasn't. I didn't have my bias going. It's like I don't really like this guy. It was just like, no, I just, this character is horrible, just wasted, <laughs> and useless. Because it was like, like maybe if if when we first get introduced to him, we know he's like just this arrogant energy drink CEO guy. He's just but a that's random. That's not how he comes off. A random foreign man that walks into a a fucking bar in rural west west virginia west say that five times west virginia west virginia rural 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 no rural west virginia rural west virginia rural west virginia yeah 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 yeah. nope Nope. that was the challenge and that's why and that's why yeah yeah and that's why i I know i can do it um yeah it was it was I mean, right when he came in, it's like, and it was like gonna, they're going to fight. There's going to be something's going to happen. A bedazzled Michael Jackson but he's fucking even, thriller jacket when know, he walks in. There's no bad guy in this movie. Like, is this, Let's say we remove him and the driver, which they're not bad guys. They're just annoying characters. But there's no bad guy in this movie. No. Does there need to be? I mean... Should that that's kind of what stories are like an antagonist you need or a to protagonist have a bad guy in a movie? I mean, he didn't have like aside from an energy drink CEO, they didn't really have any speed bumps along the way. You know, the, the bad guy in this story is uh, if if you not call having it, is, money is the is the not having money and your kid's gonna be taken out of state. Yeah, from you. but it's like. You know, he, maybe that, he doesn't have money, but it's not like the kid's gonna suffer because, the, you know, it, baby mama doing okay, clearly she is. doing okay, but also kind of a bitch baby new dad. From, from sure, what, that's like, probably why they're not. Mom together said anymore. I can't have ice cream because I'll become fat. And, and they put and a child in a me. fucking pageant. beauty pageant. Yeah. Those are dark fucking people. Yeah. Any fucking adult that puts a child in a beauty pageant is oblivious to the f- we live in all the fucking tragedies that have gone on in Colorado you know the, the Jean- Jean- Ramsey Jean- Ramsey Ramsey. is you know Boulder's not that far away nothing sh- I mean n- nothing's that far away shootings <laughs> like this place originated fucking mystery fucking child it's like four real cities in Colorado it's just the most disturbing two thing. hours yeah it's not much <laughs> what so there's like four real cities in Colorado, and they're all like yeah. within two hours away from where we are. Uh, Boulder Springs. Yeah, and, but those are kind of like, I mean, Colorado Springs is kind of, I mean, uh, Denver area, there's uh, like, it's, there's little pockets of things, not even just Boulder, but like the Denver Tech Center is like, in, you know, whatever. Fucking, but I'm saying as in full cities in Colorado. Yeah. Not many big cities. I mean, yeah. There's just, I mean, Denver. Is the only big city, and then Colorado Springs is probably the next biggest. Yeah. Uh, Boulder and like Vale and fucking these, they're like well known, Aspen's, but they're not big. Aspen's a tiny town. Yeah, Boulder's for, not big. Yeah. Boulder's tiny too. It's just you know, uh, it's just one of those you know has its own stamp as being a certain type of people lives here. Uh, but yeah, what are your final thoughts on the movie? I mean. It it was like I'm ju- I like after the f- we I mean we just re- recapped all the movies yeah. that we saw, and it's like compared to those for sure liked it better than Wonder Woman, but and Wonder Woman was low on my list. Yeah. Liked it more than Logan, but it's still like just like, above. I didn't those. like it more than Logan. Just but. above those, like it was. I mean, this is I like, just had fun with it. it this it's very, this to me was a popcorn movie. It had of, problems, man. It, if if this it was had a better pace, if this me. was a ninety minute movie, more popcorn movie. Well, I have I've agreed is, the whole time, yeah, yeah, but yeah, I mean, I just yeah. I was still into it. Yeah, uh, I was in it. I wasn't like aside from the pacing, where it's just like I constantly get bored, start getting bored. It, I like, thought it, it was a it, very. It, it didn't lose me completely. I, I thought it was been, Fargo-esque in... It's very Coen, Coen Brothers. Brothers. Yeah. Yes. 
Like I would probably compare it to like a, a like a, a raising Arizona almost. Um, but yeah, similar. I mean, it's very much like a Cohen brother kind of a feel to it, which I enjoyed that. Um, but yeah, it's like it was okay. It was okay. I wouldn't run run out to go see it in a theater. Yeah, but if it's I, on, I would, I'll watch I would, it. I would wait till this one comes out on Netflix. Yeah, unless you're looking for something to watch, it's a good. If you haven't yeah, seen all you, the if other you got good 10 movies, ten bucks to spend at yeah. a theater and want to kill. By, by ten bucks, I mean you want to feel like if you, you just want to buy a ticket yeah. and not have anything else, mm-hmm. uh, go see this movie. But if not, yeah, uh, it's not bad. Not out horrible. Of ten, out of ten. I understand that we should have like a list of. I all wish of, I like, did. Yeah. It would be um, great to see like what we've rated everything. Cause it's like, man, it's going, it's not going. I mean, maybe a high six, low seven. No, I just said six point five, and yeah. I liked it. But I'm realistic. Like this was just a movie that's not that great that I like, liked. It really, I mean, it's not like something where I came out of it like the DC movies from last year, yeah. where it was just like. <sighs> Like this one, like I was like passively, this, this one still like tied didn't everything hate up. Suicide Squad, but I just, I think I tried to give that movie too much of a chance, and I mean, it, yeah, it's just, and you know, after reviewing fucking sixteen movies, we watch and talk about movies differently than we did two years ago. Yeah. Um. So yeah, it's, uh, but yeah, that was. It, it, like it's definitely better than those. I enjoyed the soundtrack through this. I didn't really notice, didn't I notice was, it, but I was uh, fine with it. Wasn't like it. It never f- like it. It was not there was something. A John Denver song that was kind of its own yeah, character, yeah, yeah, yeah. but uh, it was. It played a part in the yeah. movie for sure. I mean, that was like the heart of this movie. Like I never was really emotionally invested in any of the fucking shit because yeah. it's like uh, they're poor, so they're just gonna rob shit. There's no real like. I mean, okay, uh, it's like, get a, you know, the drama. There wasn't with, a dire there's, situation. Like, it if was he just was like, an only father and he lost his job, like, you know, pursuit of happiness, and he's like, oh, I got to fucking hustle, then it's like, oh, I'm doing this for my kid. Yeah. Then I care. There's no, that kid has had exponentially greater life than I could ever imagine having as a child. Yeah. Like I know both of my parents, and one of them has money. Like, I have zero financial issues. Yeah, zero financial issues. Everybody seems to be cordial to each other. There's no real family drama aside from just you know, basic family ribbing. Oh yeah, it was nothing. no like yeah. So it's like I didn't give a fuck. Like I, the fact that like I I I did enjoy like the brothers, the characters. I they were good. Like they seem like well-meaning idiots you know but i never felt invested in the movie to where it's like there was no heart really the only heart was when the kid sings the song which is just a callback to something that has really nothing it didn't it didn't call back to the opening scene of the movie yeah but it's like it's it's not like it doesn't have it doesn't really tie into a story i mean aside from his love for that song there's but he was just there he showed up just so it was an alibi it's not like I got to get to my kid's show, my kid's thing. Like, he's clearly in the movie l- been oblivious. Yeah. Like, oh, this shit happened two days, you know, yesterday. Yeah, oh, so I it's came like, to pick her up for it. You didn't. It's not like when he showed up for the thing, it's like the only reason he's there is for the alibi. It yeah. just so happens that sh- the girl decides to do the sweet thing for her dad. But I didn't fuck, like... At no point in this movie was I emotional. Oh no, I didn't. Where it seems oh, well, like I, I should have, have been. I have been emotional in movies. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Me too. And this not at all. Like Logan, there was yeah. mild emotional parts for yeah, me. But I'm saying in no, Nothing in, not, in, not in that point that at sh- all. That moment that would have been the most was emotional. To yeah, be. that's what didn't. they wanted it. To, but there was no stakes. No, there wasn't. It's like uh, she was used to her dad flaking. So it's like, like if when maybe, he showed up, if maybe them like, moving was based on her getting a contract somewhere yeah. and it's like she's doing this contest to fucking just solidify it. And then she's like, fuck the contest. I'm singing my dad's song. And it just like that would have made it like not, heartfelt. There would have been some heart. The to song it. my dad likes. And it happy. wasn't she didn't fucking sing it. Well, it was terrible. just like so There's underwhelming no music like this. This fuck. Yeah. This uh, is yeah, acapella. Yeah. But uh. It was just this movie was missing so much fucking heart and replaced whatever heart it could have had with just like worthless characters. And 
one of them being actively annoying. But I still like the movie. Yeah. Weird, isn't it? It's just like, I mean, it was... I th- still the enjoyed thing that it saved more than the Atomic movie, Blonde. <laughs> the thing that saved this movie was the end. When they tied everything up and they showed you from the different perspective, it was like, hey, this and character... They cut it off before the shit. last bar scene and then... Like, I don't mind the last... Like, all, that last bar scene should have ended before Batman comes back. Yeah. Like... Right at the end. There's unnecessary... Another unnecessary shots. thing. And then... Unless it's like, he wants this to be his new oceans trilogy where it's these and they're just going to do more. No, don't do that. But that's, I mean, it's, it, that last scene was very much like kind of, uh, yeah, it, it was, it felt like every fucking setup scene at here. the end I'm of fucking every franchise. A while. It was the typical franchise yeah, end scene. It is for something that shouldn't be a franchise. Don't do it. No, but it shouldn't I mean, be a franchise hey. at all. I would rather see the female version of this than a sequel. I and I don't want to see a yeah. fucking female version of this. Six five should have been shorter. Yeah, few characters that didn't like. Yeah, but it wasn't like it didn't like because the end like tied everything up, and I enjoyed how it ended. Yeah, like that saved everything. If I didn't have it, I I don't know, man. I was like, I wasn't like super like I'm fucking. There's I mean it's easy that, to remember that, every I, all I, the I shit. I did enjoy that just movie. because it threw me off because I yeah. thought it was just going to be even more basic than that. And then it was like, oh, they were kind of doing yeah. like a, a it way saved it. But like as far as heist movies, not the best heist movie as far as fucking just the director, not his best movie. I mean, traffic is by fun far comedic his best parts movie. through I mean, it. he's done s- fucking heist movies like stop doing heist movies first. First stop. 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 You've done a franchise that got run into the ground, that they're now just rebooting with women, which hopefully he's not directing. I hope he's not directing that. But if all he's doing is heist movies, I'm not happy. Not happy with you, Soderbergh. Not happy. You should do better. Bad. Do better. But I did enjoy this for the most part. Um, The bun was nice, man. The bun was nice. 